POLICE SAY THIS RIGHT HERE IS THE WEAPON THAT A MAN USED TO THREATEN DRIVERS IN A PAIR OF CARJACKINGS. WBZ'S BETH GERMANO WAS LIVE FOR US IN LOWELL TONIGHT. AND BETH, THE MAN WHO WAS ALLEGEDLY CARRYING THAT WEAPON WAS IN COURT TODAY. WELL, WHERE WE LEARNED THAT ACCORDING TO POLICE, HE ALSO THREATENED TO USE THAT WEAPON ON HIMSELF. Nathan Sabin and his girlfriend had been on the run for about 36 hours, but his family tells me he needs help, not jail time. But for now, he's behind bars. Nathan Sabin brought into court facing a host of gun charges and armed carjacking, following a spree that ended in Drake it yesterday morning, when cell phone video shows him taken down by police on Route 110, after prosecutors say he threatened to take his own life. They observed as the defendant placed the firearm, or the rifle, excuse me, into his mouth. Again, officers and troopers continued verbal de-escalation for him to put the gun down. The rifle, which police released a photo of today, had one 9mm bullet in it at the time, but had an extended magazine capable of 30 rounds, which they claim he admitted to stealing in an effort to purchase drugs. He stated he was going to buy drugs from one of his dealers. He stated that when he purchased the drugs, his intent was to use the rifle to rob the dealer at gunpoint. He also stated he got the firearm he was carrying from his friend's house in Haverhill. But police say over the course of several hours starting Wednesday morning, Sabin carjacked a car at gunpoint from a woman in Salem, New Hampshire, another from an elderly man in Alton, before allegedly attempting another carjacking yesterday in Drake it as police closed in. His sister Lauren says he needs help with addiction. And I've tried very hard to get him help, and he has got help before. And in sobriety, he's an amazing person. And he was an amazing person before drugs entered the picture. Sabin's girlfriend, Jessica Tyrone, seen handcuffed and in custody, remains in the hospital and held without bail. Sabin's attorney disputes he waived his Miranda rights and spoke with police. I think he wants to fight these charges. Um, I think there's a lot that, that should come out, and he's, he's ready to fight them. His sister is thankful for the actions of police, afraid the outcome could have been much different. So the police were able to handle this so well. I'm just really grateful he's alive. So Sabin will also eventually face charges in New Hampshire, but he is being held on $100,000 cash bail here. Reporting live from outside Lowell District Court, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, thank you.